The state of Colorado has mandated that car makers sell more electric vehicles here. News Hi's Andy Cohen in studio telling us the goal of the new zero emissions vehicle standard is to clean up the air. That's right, Elizabeth. This mandate was one of the first executive orders signed by Governor Jared Polis. He wants consumers to have more choices when shopping for cars, but a group that represents car dealers warns these rules are going to end up costing customers. In a couple of years, a minimum of 5% of all new cars that are offered for sale in Colorado must be electric or zero emission vehicles. So this will require them to meet that percentage and to do that, they're going to have to bring more cars to Colorado. The Colorado Air Quality Control Commission adopted these rules Friday in response to an executive order from Governor Jared Polis. He wants to increase choice and reduce smog, which is especially bad in Denver. Denver's ozone is uh, out of attainment with national ambient air quality standards. Other communities, while still in attainment, still face high levels of ozone. But the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association tells us that consumers are going to end up bearing the brunt of this policy. Their study found that between this new zero emission mandate and the low emission vehicle mandate passed last year, the average price of a new car will go up by 2600 bucks. $2,600 on the cost of a new car, which was already approaching $40,000, puts a real strain on people who are trying to make ends meet. He points out that more than 2% of all cars sold in Colorado these days are electric, and state and federal tax credits are fueling that demand. Electric vehicles are on the lots now. If somebody wants a vehicle, they can go, not only go find one, they can get $7,500 back from the federal government and $5,000 from the state government. The auto dealers, by the way, sued the state back in January over the way in which the low emission vehicle mandate was rushed through. They thought that the state skipped some steps in the process. That case is currently in appeals because the lower court judge thought that the association wasn't the appropriate party to file suit. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy.